everybody got a question for you what browser are you using uh let's see what other browser is there besides chrome okay i have to admit i'm biased google girl loves chrome and today's episode of tech tips i gotta give you my five favorite chrome extensions you know the kind they're gonna make you go hmm maybe i shouldn't be using check it out let me know what you think Okay, I have made it to Chrome, and let me show you quickly how do you install the Chrome extensions. Of course, if you are brand new and you've not used the Chrome browser, you do need to go and make sure you Google Chrome browser and just do a download. But for right now, the extensions that are used in conjunction with the browser is really what we're talking about. You're going to go up to the three lines, you're going to go to Tools, and then you're going to hit Extensions. This is how your ad extensions go all the way down to the bottom. And you will see where it says get more extensions so the ones that i tell you about today this is what you'll type into this in this blank all right so let me tell you about my favorite extensions let's go with number one the more i design papers and everything else and i wanted to match up maybe with my logo colors maybe i'm doing something powerpoint i'm wanting to know the exact colors there is an extension called colorzilla and when you click it and then you take it anywhere on the page. Let's say to this blue. Notice how now I have the red, green, and blue color combinations. And that blue will match up exactly with something I'm designing, be it a postcard or anything else. If I want the green in my logo, there, that extension will tell me that it's a 19, 144, and 53. Gotta love that extension. Click out. The next extension that sits in my browser is called Grammarly. When I'm on social networks and say I mistype a word, misspell a word, then you'll see that I can hover over it because I get a little red line and it lets me see exactly what I misspelled and I can correct it because it suggests a word replacement. So I'll go ahead and tap excited because that's what I meant. Now it still has a Notice that I still see a red G in the box. That means that it, there's still a word they're not comfortable with, but I'm okay with Summer Grove because that's the name of a subdivision. I'll go ahead and hit Tweet. The next Chrome browser extension that I want to show you is called the Session Manager. Now let me tell you how it works. You actually can have all of these tabs set up. And now this is the icon. You can save the session, so I'll give that a tap, and I can give it a name. That will be the name of the session. I'll go ahead and hit save. Tomorrow, or a week from now, I can always come back and visit that session, and I'll see these exact same tabs up. So as an example, I was teaching Google World March 2012, and it had eight tabs. I can actually open it up, which I'll do now. And you'll see the exact tabs that I had open at the time I was teaching Google World. Okay, the next Chrome extension that I want to show you is 10i, Reverse Image Search. Now, interestingly, this is one of those extensions that keeps you safe and also keeps you from getting in trouble. What it does is it looks up an image and see if they can find it online and find out where it's being used. They brag that they're the first image search engine on the web to use image identification technology rather than key words. So let's talk about how this is going to work. I'm going to type in my name and I'm going to click on images and I'm going to pick on this image. I'm going to view it on the page. Always nice to know where your face appears. Now I'm going to go down and see if I can find the image. There it is. So to use 10i and see if this image is used anywhere else on the web, you right click and then you click on search image on 10i and then you can see where 10i is loading let's go to this particular tab and it says as it should say zero results but look how many images they searched 4.386 billion images were searched to see if in fact they would find this particular image anywhere on the web this is a good way of finding your own pictures and to make sure that no one is violating a copyright rule so take that in consideration when you go to Google Images and use those photos online. Need I say more? All right, Chrome browser extension number. Okay, the last Chrome browser extension that I'm going to show you in this tutorial is QuickNote. And QuickNote is really just a very easy, easy app. 
The reason you need it is because sometimes you're on the web and you need to take notes. But if you're like me, you're paperless, you don't really have the pads anymore. So this is how it works. Let's say after you install the extension, you're going to find something on the web that you're interested in keeping. And I'm just going to say this for example, which is on one of my favorite websites. All I need to do is select it, right click it, and say add selection to note. And now that information is on a little yellow pad off to the right. Very cool. I can actually type here as well. Juanita's notes. And I can keep going down, hit return, and I can clip pictures, images, and a whole lot more to my little pad. Of course, at the very top, I can go home, which means that I go to this particular screen. I can add another note. I can recycle. I can trash it. Or if I'm on the actual page, I can actually just click here and that removes the note. Just thought you'd like these extensions. If you learn something new, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.